Apple will reportedly release the first stable version of iOS 18 in mid to late September after the iPhone 16 series launch event. Apple has released iOS 18 in developer beta and the first public beta versions are out too. This rollout has been in line with the release schedule that Apple has followed over the years for introducing its new iPhone operating system. If Apple continues with this trend, the first stable public release for iOS 18 could be released after the launch of the next generation iPhone series, which would likely take place sometime in September. According to a report by 9to5Mac, iOS 18 is expected to make its official debut in mid to late September, unless Apple decides on a drastic change in their release schedule. The report stated that if Apple were to hold the iPhone 16 series launch event between September 9th to September 17th, iOS 18 public release would likely roll out between September 16th to September 23rd. For reference, iOS 17 was released on September 18th, 2023, after the iPhone 15 series launch event on September 12th. Similarly, iOS 16 was publicly released on September 16, 2022, after the Apple Fall event on September 7th that year. Apple is expected to follow a similar trend for releasing iOS 18 on eligible iPhone models. iOS 18, what's new? Apple launched the next-generation iPhone operating system, the iOS 18, at the Worldwide Developers Conference, or WWDC, this year. The highlight features of the iOS 18 have to be the artificial intelligence tools and features coming to iPhones that Apple collectively calls Apple Intelligence. Apple Intelligence brings system-wide AI capabilities such as writing assistance, summarization, image generation, and more. According to reports, Apple will only offer these AI capabilities as a preview with the initial iOS 18 release. It should also be noted that all eligible iPhones for iOS 18 will not get AI integration. Rather, the features will only be available on iPhone 15 Pro models alongside the anticipated iPhone 16 series devices. Another highlight feature of the iOS 18 is the AI-powered Siri. The updated version of Siri features an interactive interface with enhanced control over in-app actions for native Apple apps. Additionally, the AI-backed Siri also offers improved contextual understanding for more personalized responses. A significant feature is the integration of OpenAI's ChatGPT, allowing users to send queries or prompts directly to ChatGPT for assistance. The updated version of Siri is not expected to be part of the initial iOS 18 release. Rather, Apple will reportedly roll out the more powerful Siri in spring next year, likely as part of the iOS 18.4 system update. What the initial iOS 18 version would likely bring is new home screen customization features, allowing users to place icons and widgets anywhere on the home screen and add tint to the app icons for a more personalized look. Additionally, iOS 18 will allow users to customize the two controls that appear on the iPhone lock screen customized control center layout, a revamped photos app, new messaging features such as effects to individual words, and RCS or rich communication services, message support in select regions. iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Mini, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, iPhone SE, second generation or later. iOS 18, eligible iPhone models. Apple's privacy team does deep dive into iOS 18 privacy features. Apple's user privacy engineering manager Katie Skinner and privacy product marketing lead Sandy Parakilis recently sat down with YouTuber Andrew Edwards for a wide-ranging discussion on Apple's privacy policies. Topics covered include Apple's approach to privacy, the ways Apple contends with privacy laws in different countries, and how Apple deals with government requests. Plus, there's a good deal of information on the new features in iOS 18. Some of what's discussed covers privacy information that Apple has reiterated over and over again, but there are some interesting tidbits on Apple's adoption of ChatGPT, Maps Privacy, the Passwords app, and accessory pairing in iOS 18. It's a long discussion at almost 45 minutes, but worth it for those who want a bit more insight into Apple's philosophy on privacy.